Mark Morial, of course, the head of the National Urban League. Uh, Mark, it's great to see you, especially Good at a time like this, man. when we are in uh, such uh, a period of terrible shootings. And this one, as all others, have to be investigated, but we have not seen the body camera footage because of those North Carolina procedures. So we have no transparency at all, unlike Dante Wright and others, where we, the public, the families, were able to know right away. And as this, this is happening, um, we have stalemate so far, some progress on Capitol Hill. Where do you see the situation in terms of violence against, in many cases, unarmed people, unarmed black people by police officers? Uh, Andrew, first of all, thank you for having me. And uh, I first want to express uh, the prayers of uh, my family and the National Urban League family for Andrew Brown's family. Uh, we can't imagine the pain uh, and the difficulty of this day for each and every one of them. Uh, I would also add, Andrew Brown, according to the independent autopsy, was shot in the back of the head. Uh, this seems to be yet another case. Seems to be another case of unwarranted, unconstitutional use of force against an unarmed black man in connection with an effort to serve him with an arrest warrant for, quote unquote, the sale of illegal narcotics. Now, a few things people should know. The tension between the black community and that county and that county sheriff, sheriff's department is a longstanding, uh, if you will, uh, breach of trust by that department with respect to the community to be distinguished from the relationship that residents of the community in Elizabeth City appear to have with the city government. You've got a predominantly black city inside of a predominantly white county uh, and the sheriff's department and the county district attorney are the law enforcement officials that we are now focused on and activists are now focused on uh i joined with the lawyers in saying that the da should recuse himself in favor of an independent prosecutor that the governor has certainly joined in saying is necessary in this case uh, what else I think needs to happen in this case is that the Department of Justice should initiate a pattern and practice investigation with respect to the sheriff's department uh, in that county uh, and go full speed ahead with an independent investigation with respect to uh, the killing. It is so important that federal law enforcement be there right now to ensure that no evidence is spoiled altered, deleted, withheld, or abused. It is so critical, but people are more likely to trust uh, this Department of Justice under Joe Biden and Mary Garland uh, and their leadership than they are to trust that sheriff and that district attorney in that county. But the larger question is, this continuing scourge of killing of unarmed black people and out west uh, over the weekend, an unarmed Latino man. This is something that this country has got to confront. I am certainly encouraging, pushing, that the Congress of the United States not allow this moment to escape where the George Floyd Justice and Policing Act, a strong version of it, a version with teeth, would be the best step that the Congress and the federal uh, federal government could take at this time to demonstrate that they are on the side of constitutional policing and that they are going to do their part to try to re rebuild trust between communities and police. But the George Floyd bill would be a building block, Andrea, because at every single city hall, county hall, uh, every single state police uh, agency in this country, change is necessary in terms of the system of policing, the systems of accountability along the lines. And so this work that has to be done at the national level is just a component of this. But we will not rest and we will not lower our voices. And I am confident that peaceful protests and activism will continue because this equates, this equates to a modern day 
system of lynching. And we have got to end it. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. You should know that you can follow today's top stories and breaking news and catch up on your favorite MSNBC shows all in one place. Download the NBC News app today.